Okay, welcome to the Growth Report Production. I'm Sam Grave, and I'll be showing you how to make the bouncing ball effect in Macromedia Flash Player 8. Right, first of all, is you need the Macromedia Flash Player opened, which I've just realised I haven't. So just bear with me until I open it. Macromedia Flash 8. What is having a blue ball bounce from corner to corner. It's a bit like the Windows XP a screen saver but it changes shapes so right a new document we want flash document I'll be changing these to pixels of 800 and again 800 so it's a perfect square and just have the background whatever color you want I'll be having it white so there we go we have that right let's just change in our layer name for wall and now we've changed that to ball so what we need now is the ball so we get a circle and hold shift and drag and there's our circle as you can see I haven't got any line on because every time I move it there'll be an outline which is quite poor so at the moment it looks a bit 2D so make it 3D you have these options down here it could be green nice green icon effect and you can change these by you can get it just change the color on here so green to maybe a white and that looks it's not too good on the white background but if you did have a black background or something like oh sorry I'm not with it today if you did have a black background you can see there it still doesn't look too good maybe black background isn't the one yellow well, there you go. It's basically that. We'll stick with the yellow background, but we'll be changing this colour to. Let's have a nice blue. Uh, there we go, that looks okay. Right. You can always change these from radial to linear. And then, oh, you need to click onto it first. Radial to linear. And you still have that. It looks like uh, the sun on this side, and maybe moon on that side and you could do that if you wanted to black and white but I'll be using radial right now what we need to do is put your ball on off the screen so you won't be seeing it then on your fr your frames at the top here choose somewhere around 25 to 30 so I'll just check the 25 and insert a keyframe. That was a right click and insert a keyframe. Now, on that keyframe, move your ball to the other side of the page, or maybe because you want to bounce it in effect, put it just on the edge. And then on back go back up to your frames and click anywhere in between these black circles here. Right click and create motion tween. As you can see, wherever it goes, the ball changes its position. If you go back to the front, well, sorry, back to the front, I mean back to the beginning, and press enter. As you can see, it's gone from one side of the page to the other. Now, from there, as we've gone up to 25, we want to go to 50, so it's the same speed, and insert another keyframe. Be that ball from there, move it to, I don't know, somewhere around here. So it's bounced off and it wants to go back down and then again right click create motion tween basically that's what it is every single time you want the ball to change position so from the beginning enter and there we have it just to finish it off I'll show you one more so we'll be taking it up to 75 insert a keyframe and let's put the ball maybe let's take it off the screen and then right click create motion tween begin and enter there you go you can keep doing this from maybe putting it back up there and then down there so it's like bouncing off you can also do this with maybe words so just I'll tell you now right click remove frames just deletes it all 
and then back to normal. You could do it with your text. Just change that to text and then do frames one. Okay, yeah, I. Oh dear. Something's happened. Hmm. Sorry, there we go. No, it still doesn't want to do it. There is no current frame to draw into. Yes, there is. Also, check the current frame is not. Yeah, okay, so we have that. There we go. That do. And then we put test or something like that. You can always change your font with this down here. And if you just hover over it, it shows you at the bottom here what it is. I might go for impact. I like impact because it, it's like an impact. <laughs> right. From there, you just have that there. Maybe go up to 25 again. Insert keyframe. Take it down there to the edge and then create motion tween to the beginning and there you go and you can do this with many other things and oops right click remove frames you can do this with anything you could have your you could have your page as maybe a, a banner kind of effect so what should we say the width could be 800 but let's say about 200 for the height there's our banner and maybe you might have some text oh let's do this again into keyframe and then you could have some text saying hello and this is useful for a website so from here let's take it a bit bigger to 50 insert a keyframe and straight across what I'm doing now is holding shift so it goes straight across in the same position if you don't hold shift it might go up or maybe below it is at the moment and you see it going from one side of the screen down to the other side of the screen there we go and then just re release the button re release your mouse button and then create motion to him and here we have it what I'm going to do now is press control and enter to open a different window hello you can also do these with images um, so what I've got on my my space is one of these I, if I wanted to I could have put that up uh, something saying hello but I've done this one in Photoshop and it's just a still still picture kind of thing so best thing to do is just stop playing around with it and that's what I've done just played around with all the buttons and see what everything works out and hopefully you come up with something good I hope you this has helped you and if there's any chance subscribe to our channel because we are trying to get to a partnership at the moment and um, just be aware that there's also a Halloween competition going if you want to check it out please visit our MySpace uh, page on if I write it down for you here www.myspace.com forward slash Growford Productions. So that's www.myspace forward slash Growford Productions.